Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Fallout 4 Far Harbor. Uh, today is the release day for Far Harbor, uh, and just like in real life, uh, in, here in North Carolina, and in the game, it's very foggy, which I think is, uh, very appropriate, uh, you know, considering, uh, you know, the setting of the DLC of being in Maine, and apparently, uh, this huge fog is a big part of it, but we're here with our friend Nick Valentine, and we just got the quest, Far From Home, where we need to listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency, with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case, and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. All right, uh, and we're gonna switch it on over to classical radio. Now we need to go talk to Nick's partner, or not Nick's partner. What was her name? Ellie. Come on, Nick. This involves you too. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Yes, but not literally, because I don't have it with me. Let's do sarcastic. The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Caps is all we've got to offer, honey. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you need him. But if you weren't my guest, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Two. So, is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, Gumshoe. The Nakano residence. Oh, Valentine just like coast, that. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. That's how the hard cases always start. Nick, are you okay? Uh, Nick sounds off. Um, I'm gonna take this desk fan. Antiques, huh? <laughs> he sounds a little off, doesn't he? I don't know, maybe he has a cold. Uh, so anyways, now we have to go talk to that dude. And, Jesus, where is that? Oh my god, it's all the way up here. Um, ooh, it's actually, it's not far from Parsons Cemetery in the insane asylum. So, we can just head up there. Uh, before we do that though, I would like to introduce you to the character we're going to be playing through uh, this as. This is Bill. Uh, so, Bill here sided with the Institute, and he is also the leader of the Minutemen. Uh, I mean, I guess there's really no way to piss off the Minutemen. Um, but yeah, I, um, I was told that I shouldn't take a whole lot with me, so I just have a couple guns. I have this laser musket just because it's the ghoul slayer. Um, I have Kellogg's pistol, um, a sniper rifle, and that's actually about it. And, uh, the deliverer, which I... Used to have a mod that let me change around the effects on guns, but now it's a plasma deliverer, and it's pretty great. Um, but yeah, so that's our character. I also think that we should probably go stop by home and get our suit of power armor before we head out, uh, just to be on the safe side. You know, we there there's some unsavory characters up north. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, you know, going and taking on the Fisherman's Quest and going to Maine. You know, we don't, I don't really know what's out there. I've avoided all spoilers. I've avoided all of them. Um, so I know nothing about the DLC other than I think there's a lever action rifle and that Nick Valentine was important and that I should bring him. But I haven't had anything spoiled for me. So I, I, I'm very, very glad that I got to start it before getting, uh, Alright, so we cleared out those raiders that we spawned next to, and now let's head over to go talk to this dude. Is he, is he gonna be up there? 
on top of the bridge. And is that bridge what I think it is? Is that the one with like the lifts and there are like raiders on that floor? Ooh, I don't know. This could get really hairy really fast. I also kind of wish that I had brought a combat rifle with me. I had thought about it and then I decided against it, but now I'm kind of regretting it. I don't have a jetpack. So I can't get up there, I don't think, can I? Oh, we can get up from over there. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on on top of this bridge. This seems pretty interesting. Oh. Wait, it was just synths. Okay. It's no big deal. Um. I have actually, I haven't been this far, like, up here. I just think it's interesting. A dusky Yalgwai. I haven't seen that either. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, Nick. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I think we're fucked. Oh my god, we did it. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. Raiders, or gunners, or god knows what else. Alright, let's, uh, let's maybe step out of the hulking uh, set of Institute power armor. Let's go in and uh, let's see what's going on. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away, you get there. Uh, we're here to help. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. We'll, we'll find, find her. her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. All right. So, Nick's new voice is a... Uh kind of freaking me out um i don't know maybe he's just bugged or something so let's talk to Mrs. them Mrs. Nakano. i suppose you have questions about my daughter this is so cool like it you're you're a detective you get to solve a mystery i had no idea what i was getting into you know i had no idea what this was going to be about and this is so cool i'd like to know more about kasumi like shine a light on where she's gone my daughter is strong focused careful 
That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. No, no, no. What's... what's wrong? Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. We should maybe go check out the boathouse. Alright, um... What about her radio? About this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. All right. right now. So let's maybe. I guess. Do we need to talk to Kenji? Let's talk to him Mr. just in Nakano. case. Did you have questions about my daughter? No okay, more questions never mind. right now. Work quickly, detective. All right, so I guess we don't need to talk to him. But it looks like he has all the, the same options that uh, his wife had. Oh, we need to. We can't jump out of the window. You know, what, and that's not what detectives do. We're civilized. So let's go head over here. Um. I don't want to be walking around in power armor right now. I will go pick it up just because I want to like bring a suit, you know, with me to Far Harbor. But I don't actually really like using power armor. Um. Ah, there's like, oh, adhesive. I actually really need that. Oh, grandfather's note. My dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then answer. Then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Granddad. That's cool. Oh, I can just. Uh, you know what? No, I want to find the key. Picture where the key is. Well, there's a picture right here. So is the key. The key would be around here too. Maybe it's out here in this little baby shed. Nope. Huh. You know what? Never mind. I've given up on finding the key. I I just I'm better at doing this. Yes. <gasps> Whoa! This is a safe that actually opens and isn't just like a quick loot menu, like over here. Like the desk doesn't open. You just get a quick loot menu. That, that is so cool. Oh my god. And military, a military grade duct tape too is pretty great. Let's pop in the holotape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth synthetic people, made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then. They started asking about me, and the questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt I think we ought to talk. off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. What? They've told me to sail can up I north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. 
all right sorry nick here is just like yo we need to talk and i'm like well i mean we're listening to a holotape for an important case right now but sure are you Something upset the matter? you sound upset what oh no I mean, i've always believed couldn't agree more well i expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons you should probably head out so the daughter takes off by boat but more importantly there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Oh my god. Alright, so I might leave part of that in. I got, like, one of those, like, companion-like conversations with Nick. And, like, it was so jarring for him. Like, so it's not just me. Like, he sounds, like, different now. It's just throwing me off. You know? Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Far Harbor. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There is no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Uh, there was Your a group of synths. Made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe she's confused. Maybe your daughter is just confused. They're having an identity crisis. Oh, we all have those. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. A final gift from her father. And it's built for this mission. Oh my god. I really wish I had the full dialogue interface so I could see what the sarcastic option was. You know what? We're gonna see. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, while I know the sea... Okay, I gotta... <laughs> I'm confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment. And we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know my partner here can be a little glib, but we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Hi, Kasumi. Please. I think maybe Nick fell or something. Like, I think he fell off a... I think I, like, dropped him off a bridge one too many times. Oh, what happened? What was that? Beep. Did I call someone? Oh, I have a missed call. Whatever, it's not important. Uh, all right. Actually, won the war. Nobody, I guess. See, like, it's just so crazy, like, how much of a difference there is. But now we're going on a magic boat ride. So, in all honesty, who really cares? Travel to Far Harbor. Oh my God! It's not like it's. We're gonna get to see the boat take off. Okay, I can't jump. I have to stay on the boat. But... This is still pretty cool. And Nick is not on the boat. Rip. Okay, so we lost Nick. There's a red rocket.
I gotta level up. Well, we'll spin this later. N Nick became the boat, and that's what happened. Walk in the park. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry. You've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Um, I'm looking for a girl. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Nick, your fucking voice, you should fix it. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Oh, Take a shit. Post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotta follow her. Man the hall. Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. Oh man. I peeled everyone. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers! The fog! Defend yourselves! Oh my god. They're like giant little tadpoles. Giant little tadpoles. Oh my god, I fell off the hole. Let's switch to something else. Um, like this. Oh my god. God, and I'm like stuck out here. Uh, let's switch to like something not this. Okay. I want those overalls. No. I want to see like what kind of stuff we can get from them. Um, all right. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. Yeah, the that shit was crazy. Spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. Oh my god, we're getting caps at the ass. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> 
ornery more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problems. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Um, the children of Adam. So what's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam, which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Uh, is this going to make me, like, tell them to kill the children Sounds of Adam? like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. I'm not sure that's going to make our job easier. You know what? Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, let's get back to business. You know, what did you do to the preacher? What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. All right, let's go back to business. Can you get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Uh, thanks for the tip. Oh, yeah, who is Longfellow? What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. All right. Thanks for the tip. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar, the last plank. And uh, please lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. <gasps> he sells guns. I I actually really do need guns, to be honest with you. Alan. So sure. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight, our island, not yours. Dude, I'm just trying to buy a gun. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse get you. All right, let's go ahead and buy stuff. Forty-five seventy caliber atomic radium rifle. Oh, it's a gamma rifle. What? Okay, so they have a meat hook. Oh, the P ninety nine. That's part of a mod. But I don't want to buy that because it's it's a mod, and I want to f focus on the DLC stuff. The fish catcher. That's a double barrel shotgun, right? Let's buy that. I can lug for you? you know, actually, let's check the you price of a short use? rifle. Okay, so a short lever action rifle, you can actually buy just like as soon as you get off the boat. That's good to know. This is just too cool. But uh, I'm going to have to leave off here. And then uh, next time, we'll start talking to the people around town and explore Far Harbor. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, you know, like the video. If you didn't, you know, maybe maybe like it anyways, you know? And, no, I'm just kidding. If you, if you hate it, I mean, fucking dislike it. I don't care. Um, but, yeah, that's all for now. Um, I'll... 
I'll hopefully have this up on uh, the day this comes out, and then I'll have part two up either today if I somehow become Superman, or more likely like tomorrow or Saturday. Um, anyways, I'm I'm loving this so far. This looks so cool, and uh, I just think it's crazy that like it's so foggy and misty here. And then it's also foggy and misty like outside right now, like the tone of just today in general is very fitting. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.